Rod Burwell has built many businesses in his legendary career, and some with his own hands. Take the example of Proform, his first business, where he manufactured fiberglass barge covers for Cargill. He rolled up his sleeves on that one. They were anxious to find somebody who could build a fiberglass barge cover. And I looked around, I'd, uh, I'd been working at another company, and I said, no, there's nobody in the country that I could find that could make a panel even a third of that big. And so I started working on it, and I thought, well, you know, I probably could. And so I designed uh, the barge cover, and, and then I made the pattern and the molds and the, uh, after I had the design, and uh, made a prototype, of, uh, not a full size, but a, a full span one, but only like four feet wide instead of uh, 22 feet wide. And they uh, looked at it and said, well, let's take it down to Shakopee. So they did. And then they took one of those big buckets, you know, they used on the river for unloading and loading and whacked it with that bucket a few times. And they did this and that. I said, well, that's pretty, pretty strong. <laughs> well, um, they said, OK, we'll, we'll buy one. But while his tendency is to be hands-on at the beginning stage of a company, his management philosophy once a company is staffed up is to be hands-off. But, and I've never had any remorse about passing off a business to, to a, a CEO or a, a leader because that you can't grow if you try to do everything yourself. And what you got to do is, I mean, what I think you have to do is find the people that can run the businesses and I'll figure out which businesses they should run. <laughs> and uh, it's worked very well. It was while a company commander in the Army that Burwell, who went on to launch her own several companies under his Burwell Enterprises, learned of his knack for working with people. And uh, one of the companies I took over had the worst mess hall in the entire battalion. And I told the first sergeant, I said, OK, here's what we're going to do. I'm going in there for lunch every day. Or maybe. I said, I'm going to find something good about them. So I found something that was good. I told him, I said, this is really good. He said, what? I said, yeah, it was really good. Well, nobody's ever said that before. And I did that for about a week or two. And then I said, now, first sergeant, now you go in there and you find something good. He said, there's nothing good. I said, you just find something, whatever it is, and tell them it's good. And then I had the platoon sergeants do it. And then I had some other people do it. Pretty soon, we had the best mess hall in the whole battalion. Same people. Burwell built a billion-dollar empire made up of extremely diverse holdings, from barge covers to lab analytics to hotels, by learning to trust his people and his gut. Ask him how he measures opportunity, and you'll hear a most refreshing and unlikely answer. Well, I don't. I really have an intuitive sense of the future. 